Hi, my name is Alexander Smith, and I'm an application engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. In today's video, I'm going to show how to create a tab and slot feature on a mitered weldment. The tab and slot feature property manager is not very intuitive when trying to add tabs and slots to structural members that meet at a mitered corner. The traditional methodology with this tool is not going to yield the desired results, and so this video will serve as a guide for this unique situation. In this weldment part file, I've got two members meeting at a mitered corner where I would like to add a tab and slot feature. First, it is worth mentioning that the members cannot be merged, so ensure the merge option is off in the structural member property manager. I'd like the vertical member to have the tab and the horizontal member to have the slot, and so I've named the solid bodies accordingly to avoid confusion. For the tab and slot face selections, we actually need to select the mating faces where the two members meet. I'm going to hide and show the bodies in order to make the selections, but you could achieve the same results using the select other command. And so I'll hide the slot member so I can select the tab face first. Then launching the tab and slot tool, I'll select the edge followed by the tab face in the purple box. Then I'll show the slot member and hide the tab member, allowing me to select the mating face on the slot member as the slot face in the pink box. The default tab height end condition does not work in this application, and so I'll change it to be blind instead. The final step will be to set the thickness of the tab and slot which I would like to be the same as the square tubing's wall thickness, which is 2 millimeters. And that's it. I've now got a tab and slot feature on a mitered weldment. And that's going to be the end of today's video, where I covered how to create a tab and slot feature on a mitered weldment. Thanks for watching. 